okay guys all things apple and remember this this is the unboxing of the Botech Universe the wireless LED speaker it's actually Bluetooth remember remember that pun I made when I first made a video about this thing this is an unboxing four months later okay guys so let's get into it this is I actually still have that label on there and this is an unboxing and I still have these little um, sticky things off so this is a four month later unboxing of this by tech speaker take it out I actually boxed it all back up again and I have actually got a different speaker for editing and it's downstairs so I decided not to use this speaker for editing but there's the actual speaker the first side and that's its bag and put that in there and yeah we've got these things the little protective pad to stop getting damaged the charger and the user manual and put them back in the box because we and that is a user manual which we will be not reading because who reads user manuals these days? who actually reads user manuals no one that is who right so let's toss the box let's toss the box on the floor get the speaker and turn it on Oh my god, I haven't actually used this speaker since... I haven't, and come to think of it, I haven't actually used this speaker since the last video I made on it, so... Yeah, that's just how much I really don't use it. And now it's looking for devices to connect to. We're gonna, we're gonna be using my iPad 2 on iOS 6 in this video. So yeah, you may recognise it from my Tiny Piano series, and my video of is this of his iOS 6 worth it in 2018 you can go check that video out but that's not for this we will be now connecting this speaker to this device with Bluetooth so open up Bluetooth on and I haven't actually connected it to this device yet so it is going to have to detect it which it will probably not do Okay, now it's at <laughs> shit. I hate it when it does that. That is the FM radio built into it. It is on the right mode now. Okay, it's now there it is. I did it right that time. So yeah. This, okay, that means it's connected. Shush, 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 shut up. Okay, guys, so that was a bit of a fail. It actually started playing a song when I didn't want it to. So, yeah. I'm probably going to get into trouble with one of my family for that now. So, yeah, let's turn the, the, the speaker down a bit. Because that was way too loud. And you can tell that it actually does sound pretty bad. Okay, we'll play. Um, I'm not sure we play. We're, they're not playing Three Little Birds after what just happened. So I'll play Can Can. Just for fun. Is it even going to come out of the blinking thing? Yeah, there we go. And by the way, I'm only going to do this to the first dramatic bit because I don't want to get copyright strikes on my channel. Okay, so yeah, you see, you get it. That is... That is an unboxing and sound test of this speaker of the Bitech Universal Wireless <coughs> LED speaker four months later. 
And this speaker is actually a very, very bad speaker. Hence why I haven't used it since the last video I made on it. Since the last video I made on it. But yeah. Let's see what the iPad speaker sounds like. So yeah. Let's see what the iPad speaker sounds like. And yeah, it may be quieter, but whatever. The iPad speaker sounds better than that. What the hell? The iPad speaker sounds better than this. Ah. The iPad speaker sounds better than that. Better than this. By the way, guys. Now you actually know the difference between your iPad speaker, but if you've got an iPad 2 like that one, and this speaker, the iPad speaker may be quieter, but it sounds better. And the FM radio built into it does not work. I tried to, that, and actually that was the only reason I actually used it since that video. So it has been used since that video, but pretty much not at all. But that was that was actually the uh, pretty much the only reason why I even knew, why 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 I even decided to get it out of the drawer and use it since the last video I made on it. So yeah. And by the way, the iPhone 4 that appears in the iPhone 4 that appears in that video, it no longer works, unfortunately. It stopped working, and it still doesn't work, RE, and it actually doesn't work even after a battery replacement. So, yeah. And it did work, and it charged 100%, but by morning it was dead again, so that is not a good battery. That is an aftermarket battery, and I will not be replacing the battery again, because I actually kind of wasted 20 quid on it. So, yeah. Don't buy an iPhone 4 and work it too hard like I did. Because I kind of learnt the lesson from that. And I won't actually be buying another iPhone 4 unless you guys make... Unless you guys nag me rotten to. So I see if you want me to do a speed test on... When I get my new phone to the iPhone 4. Which will probably not happen. So yeah, anyway... We've just about run out of time in this video, and this is, and you've been watching all things Apple. This is all things Apple. Sign out.